All right, the stream ought to be going. Should be able to finish up the Wu Musa mode today. Only have four stages left. Personal shame. Yes, he is a very dangerous man. Able to change the course of history. <laughs> However, Cow Cow can only thrive in chaos. He will fall when our kingdom of Wu restores the peace. I think that text we see, uh, can I go back and hear it? Yeah. I think this text actually changes depending on, uh, which battle you do first and all that. Though I've never really sat down to read it because there's frankly not much reason to. I normally just play in order anyways. Played Cheng Cheng last, so now we'll switch over to Sun Yan. I'll let them keep with the pike, because I want their attack to increase right now. Although Bow might still be better, I think Bow just has the best stats all around. I'll stick with Bow. Now, unlike when we play this on the wayside, it's actually a lot harder to get your uh, siege weapons in place on Wu's side. Meng, I leave this battle to you and your cunning. So, the enemy is entrenched in the castle. They will most likely send small units to destroy our siege weapons. You'll notice that's where it's for really likes to reuse maps. Like, uh, this stage right here is the same one where, uh, Sun Jian got ambushed by Liu Biao earlier. It's just, in that particular stage, we haven't had this to look at the map that we currently do. So I think you wouldn't block that move, though. Enemy officer defeated! What magnificent strength! Right, your allies are pretty bad actually defeating the peons left behind and actually protecting the siege ramps. I think if you lose too many, Lu Ming will actually come out with his own siege ramp to actually help with the battle. And then we have Wei ambush parties appearing all the time. I'm gonna leave my bodyguards here to help protect the siege ramp. The ambush troops are sort of annoying. Wow, thanks, one guy. The ambush troops are sort of annoying because uh, they have Sao Ren's morale. And his morale is gonna keep rising as they destroy siege weapons.
You are quite skilled. Irritating. We can't fall behind. Yeah, Steve Bloom voicing Soon Jian is really good. He's a great voice actor in general, and he just sounds really, good, really great for uh, Soon Jian. Though I do like his Dynasty Warrior six and uh, seven and eight voice actor as well. I think he's a pretty good replacement. The Warriors Orgy voice actor is kind of terrible. Thank you, Pacific Chief. I stream sort of irregularly, so it's kind of hard for people to catch me. I realize that. Looks like I left my bodyguards in the one place that doesn't have enemies attacking it. dropping is really good because that'll do a number on his ambush groups. I can't remember if these gate chasms are going to respawn or not. May as well take them out. For the most part, I actually like the Samurai Warriors 2 voice actors. A couple of them are terrible, but most of them are really good. They're also very unique. Like, you don't hear those voice actors in, like, anything else, basically. I believe it was dubbed by, like, a very low-budget company. But they did pretty well for, uh, what they were. seem a bit overextended. I will go and assist. We must win this battle. Lumon just getting fed up with all the sea grants going down. There's not much you can really do. 
Like, I ran around the map the entire time, but... The sea tramps take so damn long to open up. Frankly, it's easier just to wait for Sal Ram to decide to charge. It's kind of annoying because, uh, on Waze difficulty, or on Waze forces, like, the Sea Drance will set up basically as soon as they reach the wall. But for Wei, or for Wu, it takes them, like, a freaking hour to set up. Yeah, like, I was playing the stage for, like, nine minutes and none of the Sea Drance was set up. Like, that's way too damn long. One guy, you are just a nuisance. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, now a siege ramp got set up. Let's see. Yeah, it takes... I guess about nine minutes for a siege ramp to get set up. Nine or eight minutes. One guy, please, for fuck's sake, I just want to get on red hair, and you keep pushing it away. Man, worst fucking ally, I swear. Their supply units, Vaughn Castle will be isolated. I don't think this convoy drops anything. I think it just lowers waste morale. It's hardly matter matters at this point, but may as well. I really wanted to hit him with the horse there. There we go. Good. Enemy morale appears to be decreasing. Wait. Oh, wow. Okay, I got some traps in here. <laughs> That's a shame because I want to defeat Man Chong first. Uh, so now I have to walk all the way over there. Did 
Sunion's charge six is actually kind of bad. Just a straightforward shockwave isn't that great. I think it gets changed in later games. Shadow Dune has a very similar charge six, and it gets changed to a ground pound attack instead. Which is much better. Brazilian comments in my Samurai Warriors 2 videos. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> I haven't really noticed if the comments were from Brazil or not. In fact, those videos uploaded so long ago, I don't even remember who commented on them, period. Shang Shang. Wait, did you see the commander here? Yeah. <laughs> Shang Shang is a commander here. It's interesting how in this game, like, since she's part of the Soon family, she just has like the same status as like Soon Sei and Soon Quan. So she can actually be a commander. Just if like Soon Jian or someone else isn't on the field instead. Lushan. Everyone, do as Lushan instructs you. Wait until Zhao Feng lures Cao Shu. <laughs> Lord Cao Shu, I swear on the lives of my family that what I speak is from my heart. Lord Zhao Feng, I shall trust your words. Hmm. Zhao Feng's affection seems like a call. We should inform Lord Cao Shu. We may be aware of the ploy. Don't let shoot. Well, I wish you had said that before I got up right here. And started to fight an officer. Let well, let's see if I can catch up to him. Some of the objectives on these stages you're not really gonna be able to do unless you just have already played them once and know what to do that sound. That said, I played these stages a whole bunch of times, but I still just forget stuff. Well, I heard Charge Sits is pretty good. Damn it, and Joshu is set to ignore people here. Enemy officer 
There we go, I got him. We must not fall behind. Okay, apparently only the last hit for a of the charge stick at base elements. That's the opposite from like uh, Lu Bu, where like his first hit doesn't. both of them. I think if I progress past this bridge, that might accidentally call CBE to charge or something and mess the whole thing up. But Sao Shu seems to be stuck fighting an officer or something up there. Where are the reinforcements? I guess we just have to let Zhu Huan die. To get this ambush to trigger. There we go. A little too easy. Now, we must first take out the commander, Cao Shu. Zhao Feng, turn about and attack the Wei forces. Now Zhao Feng is on our side. And I think that's all that really changes. That and Lu Xun spawns more troops. I don't know if his morale hits rock bottom though. Then the three stars. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, Jinji will show up. You played Fawn Castle first and won. Actually makes it kind of detrimental to beat Fawn Castle first. At least in the sense that she ambushes us. Along with Han Hao. And Manjong. And Kaojin. Wow! A ton of them come to ambush you. It's detrimental in the sense that it makes the stage harder, but it's better in the sense that uh, you have more officers to kill, so you'll get more ESP. This does not look good. Unfortunately, Lu Xun has already begun advancing. Exercise caution. So he's not at too much risk of being blindsided by them. You insist on this, do you? That was her second dual quote. Fine. Don't think it's kind win. of hard to uh, actually encounter them, but officers have two dual quotes. One if you dueled them once in one, and another if you dueled them a second time. 
after they had uh, already been beaten once. The Shang her charge six takes so long that oh god that hurt. She must have buffed her attack when she charged her Muso. Yeah, we're just gonna call a draw on this one. Yeah, it's kind of unfair the enemy officers can just do whatever they want Exercise in a duel. Caution. They can heal themselves by charging their Muso, or they can just buff their attack. Or defense. Meanwhile, the player cannot do anything like that. How irritating. Here we go. Crisis averted. Enemy officer defeated. It's pretty rare that your whole army will start advancing. Like, this area was initially our base. Now every single officer is marching on the enemy here. Aside from Juga Jin, who apparently missed the memo. Let us go as well. So I guess he was back here to hold off the reinforcements. This does not bode well. The enemy is strong. Exercise caution. You will learn the beauty and grace of Zhang He. Yeah, the PC version has a lot more, uh, can fit a lot more stuff on screen. Fine. Don't think you'll win. It started to rain outside. You may end up hearing some some rain in the background. There's really nothing I can do about that. I haven't mastered the ability to change the weather yet. Give it time. Man, meanwhile, Jinji almost killed me, but Zheng He did nothing. I suppose I must bow out of this dance. Jimmy's morale is still pretty high despite having the South uh, South Shu ambush work.
I really don't need to fight all these fruits. I'm just kind of doing it because they're around me. I really wish I had the wind scroll. That would be great for Sing Tang Tang. One random bombardier soldier. I like, I like how they randomly include those just for like a little bit of variety. It's really nice to be able to have all these enemies on the screen in the game not lag. It's definitely the best way to play this is playing the PC version. I believe even if you like emulate this, they'll still have like slowdowns and whatnot. that can happen in this game where uh, one of the enemy officers will just randomly show up in the battle. And I believe they're pretty buffed when that happens. Hard to focus on just Sao Ren when the CVE is right there, and beating him will win the stage. So I need to try to not attack CVE. Yeah, it's like a Musa mode thing because it's like a hidden like affinity value for everything. But it's really hard to predict. And it's like you can't look up and see which characters hate you and are more likely to appear randomly like this. I believe you can improve it for allies as well if you fight next to them and stuff. CBE is finally sorry to run out of troops and morale. Enemy officer defeated. Victory cannot be won.
not be rushed. Well, Shane Chang got a fair bit of VXP speed here. Fortunately, I don't think Lubu can appear. Nice, level 20. I believe that's my first maxed out item, and it was a pretty good one to have. And Chang Chang gives a match for weapon too. Now I don't actually know how this will work if I'm playing a Soon Jian. Normally an ambush is supposed to trigger here, and Soon Jian will uh then turn around and jump over the bridge. But if I'm playing a Soon Jian, the game has no way to teleport me from one side of the bridge to another. Maybe I'll just have to run across it myself and then it'll blow up behind me. Like a badass movie scene. Surround the castle! Defeat Cao Cao and take Hei Fei! I, Zhang Liao, shall be your opponent. Oh, he just challenges me to a duel. What a badass. We're two seconds this into the battle and he's like, DUEL ME! Except. Jeez, and he starts off with a Muso. I wish I could do that. Uh, that didn't seem to damage him. Yeah, he's buffed to high heaven. I can't even make him flinch. Great. It's one of those types of duels. Where the enemy's stats are so buffed up, if you aren't playing a matched character, you're basically not going to win. There's only so much I can do in situations like these. I consider the fact that I got him down to half health on achievement. A message from Lord Lu Meng of Bon Castle. A prisoner has told us there's a trap on the bridge. The tiger of Zhang Gong is indeed impressive. Retreat! Okay, now he's just automatically running. Alright, let's see if the ambush will trigger. Soon John is trapped now. Victory is ours! I don't fall for cheap tricks. Let's go! Yeah, since I did Fawn Castle, Lu Bing gave us some advice and Ling Tong and John Queen actually appeared to help. I'm in no danger anyway because I'm playing as the commander. Forgive me. Oh, I think I lost every single one of my bodyguards because they were on the bridge and blew up. Yep. <laughs> They're all dead. Well, isn't that a shame? Now, where did Zhang Liao go? Oh, he just outright vanished.
Damn it. This fool heals himself, huh? Yeah, the enemy officer just full healing themselves is something I definitely don't miss. I'm glad they took that out in later games. Let's see, what's the morale of my troops? Pretty good. And South Dallas is terrible. So that should be fine. I'm gonna circle around so I can defeat you again. Jun Liao have arrived to tear the heart out of Wu. Nice slow mo there. Even turned off the music for a little bit. Now, Jun Liao is something I am going to have to deal with. Max morale. Also, when he appeared, a gate captain appeared in the bottom left there. I think if uh, Soon Jian, if like NPC Soon Jian had jumped back over the bridge and been at the starting position, then Zhang Liao would have appeared in the bottom left where that gate gap appeared as well. So it would have made more sense. I will defeat you! Yeah, I think you don't even get to see that cutscene in the waiver. Officer defeated. Wait, push them all the way back. Huh. 
Now we got positive music. Now, I believe since we succeeded in the strategy against uh, South Chu at Chi Ting, he's going to show up right behind uh, right behind Lu Xu and ambush him. I will have my yep. And Cheng Cheng also appeared since we did Von Castle. I don't know who appears if you're playing as Cheng Cheng. Maybe the catapult just appears on its own. Now, Lu Xun appeared with three morale, and Cao Xu is pissed with Matt's morale, so he is going to tear him apart. Push them back! The enemy is strong. Exercise caution. <laughs> This does not bode well. I really just want to get on the horse here. Finally. So I'm going to go ahead and try to rescue Lu Xu first, because he's in the biggest danger. The catapult is right there, and I could try and beat Cao Jin, but eh. My allies are not doing great on their own here. But maybe Gan Ning appearing will help. Sorry I'm late, everyone. But we'll make up for it. Right, guys? himself this will be interesting I accept damn that hurt I thought I could hit him before he shot off the arrows That should at least help everyone's crumbling morale. Sashu also shows up in hyper mode. He is really pissed over Joe Fang. We have long been awaiting you. Crisis averted. How's everyone's morale doing? Pan Panjang is not doing well. Nor is Lu Xun. Everyone else should be fine though.
guess I'll go ahead and run up here and take out South P and uh, his sub -op. I think Shang Shang is doing fine protecting the catapult. Changing didn't even need health to break down the uh, Apex Castle. Enemy officer defeated. You could break through our forces. I guess no matter what, the two ally officers at the bottom there won't charge. Han John just cannot catch a break, apparently. Even though he has Gan Ning and Xu Xing right beside him, and he's at full health, the game keeps telling me he's struggling. I don't even really need red hair right now anymore. I'm just going straight to South South now. I will defeat you! Fall behind! 
Amazing! Sao Hong and Shao Dun did pretty well with themselves over here. They stayed at 6 morale for like the entire fight. And stalled pretty much everyone, even Gan Ning. And Gan Ning is at 7 morale, that's not bad. He probably would have eventually pushed past him, but it would have taken him forever. They really expect you to take longer than uh, you're ever going to. Like, I have 74 minutes left to complete the stage. And there's no way you're ever going to take that long to beat this. Enemy officer defeated. I'll just take his horse rather than go back for red hair. I believe it's just outside. And Chin Yu, okay. I'm not 100% positive, but I believe a unit's morale also affects the stats like big. So I think that's how being at low morale means you take more damage. I'm not 100% positive on that, but I think that's how it works. First time I landed is charge six. Enemy officer defeated. I will not back. Him. My ambition still burns strong. Now his weapon is fully leveled. Bodyguards barely got any ESP because they all died. And now we're on to the final battle. I'll go ahead and keep playing as Undion. Feels more appropriate. I'll let my bodyguards use the pike just so they can actually be effective. With the bow, they don't really do anything. This 
This is actually one of my favorite stages. I shall deal with Cow Cow once and for all. Do the first order of business is to protect the, the siege strong. ramp. We have to fight harder. Failing on that area right there. It's kind of weird looking at the map and seeing like the entire left half is like the entirety of CQ Gate. I'll go ahead and start clearing out some of these troops. I guess I'll start with Sao Hong over there. Ah, there it is. The siege ramp is here. That'll help us take the castle. The siege ramp. It is as expected. Let us be here. Approaching from the rear. If they take this fortress, we won't be able to hold them. It is hard to get in if they destroy the siege ramp. We we'll have to protect it if we want this to end quickly. If you run after two hairs, you will catch nine. We should focus on protecting one area. Enemy officer defeated. So yeah, we can either protect the siege ramp. Which uh, is considered an officer in this, huh? Or we can go and fight uh, Xu Zhu, who reappeared with Matt's morale. He was gonna try to attack us from behind. Xu Zhu's ambush is way less threatening when you uh, are playing as the commander. Good. The castle grounds. Man, this siege ran set up immediately. I thought I'd have to defend it for a while. Well, if it's already set up, I don't have to protect it anymore, so I may as well go rescue Juga Jin. Yeah, if you succeed in doing it for both, you uh, can unlock the Wind Scroll, but I forget which battle it needs to be on. It might be on the Shu forces that you have to do it. It's actually not that hard to do. what is he up to? Let us leave the castle one and control the area. Enemy officer defeated! Fight! 
don't want to die. Yeah, it looks like a shoe side. Not fall behind here, guys. I believe CVE has a ploy going on. And Joe Yu said to stay out of the main castle room at first. But I don't think it'll actually progress unless you go inside of it. Shadow Doom is getting annihilated over there. I'm gonna rush over to him because otherwise I won't be able to kill him myself and get the USB. Uh, yes, I do know how to unlock level 10 weapons. I am Shaho Doon. Come if you want to die. This will be interesting. I accept. The annoying thing about the auto target in this game is that you are both. You have to do it no matter what. And, uh. It won't auto lock on to someone if they block your attacks. So that's why when I was doing Soon Jian. Oh wow, he killed me. <laughs> wow. Man, that charge attack deals a lot of damage. Oh well. It was bound to happen at some point. He wasn't even buffed up, he just got his attacks in. Oh, time to do this all over again. I shall deal with Cow Cow once and for all. Who you duel is actually uh, semi-randomized, so he may not challenge me to a duel a second time. Hopefully he will, so I can redeem myself. Draft spawned a little quicker than before. And I went the wrong way, damn it. they take this fortress, we won't be able to hold it. It'll be hard to get in if they destroy the siege ramp. We'll have to protect it if we want this to end quickly. If you run after two hairs, you will catch nine. We should focus on protecting one area. You actually don't want to be on screen with the siege ramp. 
Because the soldiers will just tear it apart. I think it's safe now. I just didn't get up here now fast enough to stop so long. Should be good from here on out. So let's go ahead and rescue Juga Jin. Jin can actually hold out for a while here. Leave the castle once and patrol the area. I think I can smash you. I just saw him Muso. Juju's death quote is really sad. Like, I don't like the character whatsoever, but man, that this makes me sad look good. You still got it, old man. Let's see if Shahu Dune challenges me to a duel again. I am Shahu Dune. Come if you want to die. This will be interesting. I accept. Now let's not let him see one me to death. Carrying isn't much better. There we go. That went much better. Cow Cow, you must prevail. Enemy officer defeated. Now let's go help with the guys at the bottom because they're not doing too well. Wow, uh, Simi Yi just left his son, Simi Zhao, over here in this area, which he has loaded with bombs and are going to explode as soon as I enter it.
Apparently, I walked right past the well. officer. Crush them with one blow. Mind your manners, you beast! It's fun seeing the this dual intro animation for the I characters accept. with unique weapons. Really shouldn't try to use this charge six. It misses more often than not. There we go. Perhaps I am fortunate to die young. Enemy officer defeated! I like how they keep, they keep using Sao Shu for uh, these later stages. It gives him more of a presence, like outside of Xi Jinping. Enemy officer defeated! They, they do the same with Masu as well. about to blow it. If you look on the map, you should be able to see all the... Prepare to be crushed. Yeah, all the peons in there are just gone. Obliterated because Simi blew the hell out of them. Fortunately, his son somehow survived it. <laughs> it did destroy the enemy troops as well that were still locked in there. Yeah, when he releases those bombs on PS2, like, uh, it's a massive slowdown across the entire map, even if you're nowhere destiny, near them. So be it. Meanwhile, on PC, it handled it with no trouble whatsoever. Also, I realize I talked over South Sal's uh, little declaration there, which is a pretty cool scene. He actually uh, seals his own stronghold once, just because he's must not so pass. determined not to retreat here. Our forces cannot stop this enemy. I will buy us some time. We must take Shu Chang quickly. Enemy officer defeated! And now, who showed up to ambush us? Uh, Jiaqui. And that's basically it. It's just Jack Lee and uh, a bunch of South South troops charging. Now, did Beyond the Way have a sub officer left? No. I may as well kill everyone, so. Let's go ahead and defeat Jack Lee. I 
really like Cao Cao just raising his own morale. The enemy's strong. We have to fight harder. By like sealing his own stronghold. So the every other troop remaining on the map just fights really fucking hard. This does not bode well. Morale skyrockets. Fight some of these troops. Just try to whittle down South South morale. Yeah, there's a big cluster of them. Might as well take out a few. That'll make it a little bit easier for the rest of my forces. But it really doesn't matter. I'm playing as a commander. They can all die and it will affect nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot horses can't get over that. Um, okay, well I'll just jump off and fight Sima Chow and then go around. Because he should be somewhere around here. Oh yeah, and they have these weird weapons that are just like spike walls on wheels. I think if the uh, if the guard captains were still alive, I would have been able to destroy them, and that would keep and that would destroy the siege weapons. This doesn't look good. But since they got blown up, I can't trigger that, so they're just perpetually there now. And normally, I can't get a horse through the gate doors for some reason. I don't know why they made horses unable to do that. But I think I can get Red Hair up the seed ramp and get him that way. Yeah, that got me in. I don't think I can get back down. Oh, no, I can. Okay. In some areas, you can go on a horse, like, up through it. But you can't, uh, go back up it. Will this let me go upstairs with the horse? Nah. So, sea trans can help you get horses in the places that you normally could. You shall be thwarted. Knowing them from now, so I can go ahead and beat the way. Fools! Did you think you would get by so easily? And someone else showed up to ambush us. Bang Day showed up, along with Jin And they are just rushing me. Is 
is safe, I can go in peace. It makes such a boom when the last hit on your Muso hits a bunch of soldiers. It's very satisfying. South South has one sub officer remaining. And I think he's on top of the wall. Yeah, he's on the wall, not actually helping in the fight. Yoshi was apparently just content to sit on top of the wall and watch his board fight to the death. We can't fall behind. Oh yeah, South South's guards are uh, they're on horses and they're actually in hyper mode. Which is pretty rare to see. So scorn my genius. And now, finally, we get to sub That just knocked me into a health item. Enemy officer and there we go. My destiny has not yet.
bunch of low level items. As soon John would just mats attack. Now, one of these ending cutscenes is supposed to be showing, like, uh, a flashback of all the battles I did with some text and scrolls on screen, but I can't really get that to work on this version since I had to rip all these cutscenes offline and stick them into the game just so there would be cutscenes to show. So that particular thing I can't get to play. But at least we have these little victory scenes. And here we have all the battles I did. As you can see, I didn't do any of the tail stages, but I'll have to replay this a few times to uh, get them all. At minimum three. Because some of them you can't get without being locked out of other tail stages. And I'm not going to let the audio play for the ending credit song. Because uh, YouTube will mark it for copyright, and then I'll have to edit it out of the video, and this is a whole process we can avoid. Yeah, and uh, the cutscene, like, the, the credits don't scroll for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. For some reason, the version that I have of the game is a little wonky when it comes to cutscenes. But at least the animations are amusing to see. Aside from the cutscenes, though, this game plays pretty much perfectly. Much better than the, uh, than the PS2 version, honestly. I like how this scene just has one or two boo generics, even though there are plenty of other characters that get stuck there. And that's it for the Wu Musa mode. Still have a little bit of time left, so next I'm going to uh, try to unlock some level 10 weapons. Which means I have to put it on hard. And I would try to unlock Soon Jian's level 10 weapon, but I need that uh, Imperial Seal stage, which is a tail stage. So I don't actually have his stage unlocked yet. But I can go ahead and get uh, Soon Shang Kang's weapon. Which, all I believe I need to do is uh, race for the non territory. Actually, let me, let me double check what I need to do. Uh, let's see. Race for the non territory, defeat Wang Long, and enter the castle. Show you shot for the arrow event. Sauron attacks. Defeat Sauron. Yeah, easy enough. Okay. Now, where is that guy, anyways? Long line. Okay, the first person I fight. Now this will be super easy. Zhou Yu, I'm leaving you in charge. 
Everybody, do as Zhou Yu commands. Surround the Nan territory. We will defeat Elrin and take this land. <laughs> These are the orders from Shige Leon. We will strike way before Wu Fei and claim this territory. <laughs> to get Joe Yu to move up. There we go. My lord, are you hurt? Where does that arrow come from? Do not worry. This has given me a plan. I will withdraw for now. Well, that's how Yu doesn't even sound pain. Like, he's not even aware that the arrow hit him. I'll just wait for Sour to come to me. I have yet to attain true strength. Not too worried about defeating the other officers. Because I think I just need to take over one of the non territories and win the battle. So even if uh, Guan Yu or uh, Shu defeats the other way officer, it's not a big deal. Yeah, Shang Cheng's uh, charge sits isn't actually that great. It's a bit too slow to come out, but the enemy just block it. Give me the weapon. Yes, it did. Cool. All right, now just play the stage normally.
forgot how long it takes a few horses to actually kill these guys. May as well go after Cao Hong. See if Yang Liao can last against Yang Pei. Jing Pei beat him. Oh well. Taken the Jing province. They took one area. A cursed shoe. We at least got to hear Zhou Yu be angry. Meddling Zhuge Lian. It's one of the few times we hear uh, either of DW4 Zhou Yu's voice actor actually be angry. That looks pretty damn deadly. Okay, unfortunately I can't uh, do Soon Dion's level 10 weapon. Because again, I don't have the stage unlocked. But I don't really want to start another Muso mode right now. So, it's uh... A little bit early, it's about 15 minutes early from two hours, which is how long I like to stream. But uh, I'll go ahead and stop it here and pick up the stream again next time. Thanks for watching.